Holy moly. These things are beautiful. gorgeous. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today we have to do a little bit of snake feeding because hey, that's part of our job. We also have some company. This is someone that we've gotten to know from the Chicago era. She's been just a huge supporter of us. She's coming in for the day, so she is gonna hang out with us today and I think a little bit tomorrow. And then later on, I have a couple people coming in to do a little trade. We're trading some rat snakes for some geckos. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. Regardless, it's gonna be an absolutely crazy day and I know that we are gonna have a great time together. So what do you say? We just push all our problems aside and enjoy the rest of our vlog together. Go ahead in the comments and tell me something awesome about you guys today. While you're down there, can you smash that like button? Let's go ahead and go downstairs and feed some snakes. So we have to feed all the little baby ball pythons today. And what's really cool about this time of the year is that, you know, so many of these things that we're eating live, because again, oftentimes we start our baby ball pythons on live and I prefer to get them onto frozen as quickly as I can. But the truth is, is when you have hundreds and hundreds and really quite frankly, thousands of of babies, they just take live fuzzies or rat fuzzies a lot more readily than trying to get each one to eat frozen. And then once they eat several times, we start to switch them over to frozen. So this time of the year, a vast majority of our baby ball pythons have already switched over to frozen, which is really great because it's just easier, it's cheaper. And again, I've talked about the fact that I really do prefer frozen over live, but I've also talked about the fact that if a snake needs live, I would rather feed it something than have it starve. So regardless, we have to feed all these babies baby ball pythons all the way down here, a bunch of frozen meals, so let's go ahead and see how they eat. So that definitely went pretty well. Now what we'll do is we'll go back for the ones that didn't eat frozen and then we'll offer them live to make sure that everything gets a meal today because again, we want each of these snakes to typically eat once a week. And I'll be honest with you, even when we have thousands of baby ball pythons, once they're all established feeding, I mean literally out of the entire group, we might have one or two that for whatever reason skip, maybe they're deep in shed. With baby ball pythons, even when they're in shed, oftentimes they'll eat. So we typically don't have hardly any that don't take a meal, whether it's frozen or live. But let me just stop for a second and say, if something is eating frozen regularly and then skips a week, we don't just immediately feed it live. I mean, we'll typically let it go a week because sometimes ball pythons will do that. They'll skip a week here or there. But if it goes more than a couple weeks without eating frozen, we'll go back to live and then try to get it back onto frozen. But regardless, it was successful today. A vast majority of the animals definitely ate frozen. We have a handful of live feeders that we have to go back and feed, but hey, that's just part of the ball python game. But regardless, it's always cool to feed snakes. I mean, they're just such amazing animals. So our friend Jen is going to be in any time. We're going to have a little bit of fun with her. She's coming all the way from Chicago to hang out with everyone here, so we're going to have a really good time with her. But before I do that, I do want to check some Sambos. We have a handful of gravid females that seem like they're going to pop any time, and that's what's interesting about Sambos, or at least the majority of them. They're kind of atypical seasonal breeders. And what that basically means is you could have Sambos like any time of the year. So even though we had litters months ago, we still have females that are gravid. So let's go ahead and see if we have any babies and just see where we're at with this one. This this particular female here is really big and loaded up for sure, but no babies there yet. Let's go ahead and check this one right here. This is the same thing. Look at how pretty that animal is. I mean, that is just super nice and orange. I absolutely love that. No babies there. This one here is actually, you can see how loaded up she is in the back end. And this one is actually the one that I think will drop the quickest is because you can start to see that with live bears, a lot of times all those babies are moving down to the end. And right here is almost looking a little bit thin. In. And that's kind of the process of live bearers. You see the same thing with boa constrictors is just before they start to have babies, they'll kind of get kind of bloated towards the back end. They'll even look a little bit skinnier up front because all those babies are ready to start popping. So I think this girl is gonna definitely have babies anytime. Let's check a couple rough scales really quick. Look at how fat and loaded that girl is there, but no babies yet. And then finally, this is the last girl right here. Another rough scale sand boa, no babies. So hey, we don't have any baby sand boas, but I think anytime that one female 
Turtle is definitely going to pop. And then we'll definitely have some other litters coming relatively soon. But hey, I always love little baby snakes. And of course, I'll share it with you when they finally pop. Regardless, I think Jen's going to be here anytime. So let's go ahead and wait for her to show up. But before Jen gets here, I actually wanted to ask you guys. I need your opinion. I've been considering doing a one or two day a week live stream. You know, probably only 15 minutes, 18 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, something like that. So I'm kind of thinking something on the lines of like maybe on a Wednesday and a Friday. I I'm not 100% sure. Where it would be addition to the vlog. I would still put out the vlog that day. So at 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, when I always upload my vlog, you will get a vlog. But then maybe around noon or 2 o'clock, something on that lines, I would do an additional like 15 minute or 20 minute live stream twice a week on this channel for YouTube. Let me know, number one, if you guys want me to do that. And then do me a favor down in the comments. What kind of topics do you want me to cover during that time? Because maybe we'll make it some kind of a theme like Wednesdays we'll do one thing and Fridays we'll do another. Or let me know what day you think would be the coolest. I've just been kind of thinking about this live stream thing on YouTube and I think it'd be really cool to kind of be able to interact with you guys kind of on a live basis. And that way there's no editing or there's anything like that. We're just having a good time together. So let me know down in the comments if you number one like that idea. Number two, what days you think I should do that on. And even times for that matter. I mean, what time works for you? Is noon good or are you at work? I mean, let me know what you guys think. And lastly, what topics you'd want me to cover on said live stream. Is there something that you like? I may even start this next week. So definitely let me know what you guys think and maybe together we'll have some fun with that. All right, so Jen is here and look at this. Jen, what are you doing? You've been here for five minutes and you're already, you're sweeping? I don't have kids with me, <laughs> so I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> so you guys may recognize Jen. She was in the vlog several months ago. She's just an awesome person and she came in to visit us from Chicago. Uh, she's gonna stay with us for a couple days. It's gonna be awesome to have her around and apparently she's ready to work. I am. <laughs> Free on top of it. Oh my gosh, this is great. But we're gonna have some fun with animals as well. So let's go ahead and uh, what do you want to do? What do you What are you thinking? Do you want I got to go see my baby banana that's on the way. He's oh. adorable. Oh my gosh, I didn't even He's know. He's got so many freckles. <laughs> awesome. We match. That's it's perfect. awesome. That's awesome. That's I know. You show me something, Kelsey. Yeah. So Kelsey, what do you think? What, do, what, should, what should we have Jen do? Oh my gosh, can we show up in new retex? Absolutely, yeah. let's see them. Let's do it All for right. sure. All right, cool. Like a rainbow. Isn't he gorgeous? I know. Isn't he pretty? Hello, handsome. Hello. Yeah, I love your eyes. This is that one. This is also a titanium, but of course this isn't just like Titan, uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous and he's doing really well. Hi, <laughs> I love kisses. This is my favorite. He's a really reptiles. friendly boy. Like he's really sweet compared to Titan. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Titan loves Kelsey, but uh, he doesn't seem to love anybody else when you first pick him up. Once you get him up, he's absolutely amazing. But this one is super chill. It's so pretty. When you open his tub, he immediately perks up and looks at you like he wants to know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, look at him. Look how I know. awesome he is. He's like, I don't know you. I must smell your face. <laughs> this one is actually a girl. Yeah, and she's just freaking miss. so amazing. Oh, this, uh, wow. It's like a 3D picture almost. <laughs> looking at her stripes. That's crazy. I know. Isn't it beautiful? I this is a Flatty Sunfire Super Tiger. I know. Look at your nose. It's so cute. She's a big sweetheart, too. I she love her. Is. We're keeping this one. Heck yeah. This is mine. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a keeper for sure, yeah. Kelsey like, needs this one and other ones. We'll figure out which I ones need those that are. that one. That one needs to go home with me. Okay. <laughs> so, Brian, how do we get that one to go home with Kelsey? <laughs> Oh, we're looking at retics. You certainly have to see my girl, Fredita. Isn't she gorgeous? She is gorgeous, and I love her speckles, and they're all different colors, and she's I so know. beautiful. Got, like yellow coming through. And, yeah. I mean, what a sweetheart, right? She's in shed, and she is just the sweetest little thing. Yeah, no, she's thing. totally calm, which is awesome. <laughs> I love that animal. I cannot wait till she gets big. I mean, is that going to be Those eyes are epic. Those spots are going to get great. Hello, sweetheart. You she would like to come exist. home with me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Perdita's not for sale. No one's taking Perdita. She just no, wants to be a bow tie. Look at her. Don't smash her dreams. But Jen, you haven't seen Sunrise since the last time you were here. She was probably like three foot Holy the last time she's here. Holy moly. <laughs> she gotten big. She is at least three times the size since the last time I saw her. Hello. I know. Isn't she freaking Hello, ma'am. She is. As soon as you start. Look at you being a big girl. <laughs> As soon as you start feeding rabbits, it, they just explode in size. You're not rabbits. kidding. I love the like colors of orange and bright light on her. 
You're so beautiful. <laughs> oh, she can't kiss me. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> All right, so my friend just showed up. Dan here. He is a master. As a matter of fact, Dan is where Snoop Frog came from. So How's it going, guys? <laughs> he is definitely a frog master, but he's also into cave geckos and a few other things. So the surprise was is that I thought Jessica was going to be gone today, and Dan was going to show up, and that we would just kind of surprise her tomorrow with a couple more cave geckos. Because you guys know that she loves the cave geckos, but it turns out that Jessica's here, so we're just going to go ahead and show Jessica what we've got going on. And you also brought some corn snakes and some gargoyle geckos. Uh-oh, guys. You guys have asked me if I'm going to have gargoyle geckos. This might be the thing. I'm not 100% sure yet. I definitely definitely think next door I want a gargoyle set up, but uh, I don't know if I'm ready for them, but we're going to take a look and we might work something out. Let's go find Jessica. Hey. Jessica! <laughs> Alright, you ready? I'm excited, yes. <laughs> Alright, take a look. Dun, oh, dun, dun. oh, look at you guys. Right, look at these gargoyles. There's... Holy moly. These things are Beautiful. gorgeous. Oh my gosh. They are freaking the amazing, awesome. man. Those things are crazy. The dude. babies that you get out of these guys are absolutely awesome. They've already been breeding this season, so wow. already been laying eggs, wow. ready to go. Oh yes. my gosh, those things are crazy. Where's your cave geckos? To be honest with you, I'm more excited about these, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> See, and, and this was an afterthought. Dan even wasn't gonna even bring these. He just had an afterthought. So I'm just gonna bring them and let you guys see them. So, uh, so I don't know, it's your call. You, you want it, we'll try to figure it out. Yeah, let's figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys, holy That moly. one's actually really cool. It was more able to be seen when it was a baby, but if you look real closely on the sides oh, here, it has a yeah. vertical stripe oh, yeah, on both that. sides. So I was really eager to see what is going to come out of this. That is also, I mean, it's just their red eyes that gets everybody. Oh, yeah. I know, look at those eyes. Oh, doggy. So They've got even brighter Jessica. eyes than the other ones we've got. <laughs> so again, I was originally going to surprise Jessica. Things didn't work out that way. So, so I hope that you're happy. Yes, I, know, I, know I you. am. <laughs> I've got to always keep Jessica kind of, you know, getting new stuff because she always works with the same things over and over and she does such an amazing job. But you know, everyone wants to work with something different from time to time. So uh, I will see what I can do about the gargoyles and uh, you can take care of the cave geckos. So what an end to an absolutely incredible day. I mean, take a look at this gargoyle gecko. It is unbelievable. And you know, I had Dan come because he was going to drop off some cave geckos, which I knew Jessica was going to absolutely love. And he was like, I'm just going to bring these gargoyle geckos for you to take a look at. You guys know that if someone brings me something to take a look at, I'm going to probably buy it. So I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look at how incredible they are. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll certainly keep you posted on these gargoyle geckos. Jessica actually keeps them at home so she knows exactly how to care for them so that's one of the reasons I was like sure why not these things are so freaking awesome. You guys have an amazing day, evening, morning, whatever you happen to be watching. Thank you guys so much. Your support means the world to me and I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button for me as well as turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning eastern standard time remember to be kind to someone today and i promise i'm going to see you guys tomorrow